What's going on ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. We are not breaking any boxes today. This is going to be a PSA and BGS submission preview video. Yes, both PSA and BGS are going to get some uh, some cards pretty soon. Uh, I've been sending cards to PSA for a while, especially over the last few years. Done a lot of uh, submission preview videos and submission reveal videos. BGS, I have not sent any cards to them in over 20 years. I think the last time I made a BGS submission was uh, sending in a Topps Chrome Kobe Bryant rookie back in 2000, which unfortunately I sold over 20 years ago. I wish I still had that one back. Uh, but anyway, both companies um, have recently lowered prices or, or opened up uh, lower priced uh, tiers. So I figured I have a few cards um, that seem to be better suited for you know one company over the other. So we're gonna go ahead and go through these two stacks. Um, and also by the time this video goes live, I'm not sure when it's gonna get posted. Um, I'm sure both of these stacks will be on their way to both PSA and BGS by the time this video goes live. Uh, so we can uh, see how long both of these take to come back. You know, We'll do some reveal videos once these cards are graded and I have them back. In the background, you'll see some LeBron PSA 10s, this uh, Disco. Uh, from P Prism Flashback from this uh, this year's Prism, or I guess last year's Prism since the New Year News Prism is coming out pretty soon and also from the same Prism set, that red, white, and blue PSA 10 that came out of a cello pack. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications so you get notified whenever we post new stuff, which is pretty much all the time. Always add new content to the channel. Um, let's go ahead and look at our BGS stack first. I'll kind of, this is the PSA stack here. I'll push that over to the side for now and we'll look at what's gonna go um, to BGS. So first, actually, I'll just show the first two cards. <laughs> Both of them are uh, uh, Alonzo Morning Upper Deck Exquisite Patch Auto. So this is from, let's see, I think 0708 we have here. Uh, or yeah, 0708. Uh, it's, I, this one says patch. Uh, it's, it's technically considered a patch auto, but for some reason they just put a, a lot of these had a signal, single color uh, jersey in it. But number 35, um, I want to send these patch cards to BGS just because I know with PSA, they probably won't get super high grades. They both have some issues. This one I think is in a little bit better shape. There's a little bit of, you know, kind of white around the corner there and, um, some kind of minor issues, a little bit of edge, kind of hard to see on the video, but a little bit of edge chipping almost you really have to look close at it to see it. Um, but with PSA being a thick card, probably wouldn't get a, more than an eight, I would say. But I do want to use BGS for the subgrades um, just to see, you know, maybe if the surface centering, things like that um, get higher grades, then hopefully the edge and edge and corner grades won't bring it down quite as much. And just want to get this encapsulated just for, you know, storing it long term, not planning on selling these anytime soon or ever. <laughs> these are strictly PC cards. This is probably one of my favorite Alonzo Morning cards I own, Noble Nameplates from 0809 Exquisite. So the last year, I think this is the last year they did NBA um, Exquisite, yeah, 08, 09. Um, and this one has a little bit worse issues. You can definitely tell there's some a lot of white on that corner. Definitely some white on the edges. Um, the front does look a lot, a lot better though. Um, around the, the nameplate here, there might be a little bit, it's kind of hard to see. You can see a little bit of this window pulling up a little bit, so they might dig me for that on, on the surface. Um, but overall, again, just want to get these, get, get some subgrades on them, get them uh, protected for long-term keeping. So sending these two to BGS. Next one that's going to BGS, this is actually a card I pulled on the channel. The very first one of one I ever pulled. Uh, for a while, it was the only one of one I pulled on the channel until I hit that, uh, that one out of a Prism baseball cereal box. Um, but this is uh, from 1718 Essentials, one of one, Shaq Auto. I sent this to PSA a while ago. This came back in eight, which I still cannot for the life of me figure out how this got an eight. Again, tiny minuscule bit of white up in that top left corner. Same thing, bottom left corner, a tiny, tiny, tiny raised edge on that corner. Other than that, I mean, it's hard to tell centering. I'm not really sure how this card is supposed to be centered, um, but surface, edges, everything else looked amazing on this card. So. Um, this was a, I cracked it out of the PSA 8 uh, slab and this one's going to go to BGS just to see. This, I got to imagine, has got to get at least an 8.5. Even if they ding it on the corners, maybe give it an 8. Everything else should be higher than that. So definitely hoping for an 8.5 or more on this one. With these, I didn't really guess. I would say 
probably at least an eight on this one. This one with the way the back looks, uh, I would not be super surprised if it got like a seven and a half at the absolute worst, but definitely hoping for an eight um, on that one. Uh, and then again, 8.5 on this, maybe a nine, we'll see. And then the last card that's going to BGS, recently got this one from a 502 Frank Fire Pack. This is a Devin Booker Absolute Glass case hit. Um, I was thinking of sending this to PSA, but someone mentioned that a lot of times these glass cards um, can get uh, BGS 10 pristines or even a 10 black label. Um, and I looked this over very, very, very carefully. A lot of the, there's scratches and things that are on the penny sleeve and the case, uh, the card savers, so those aren't on the card. Um, but corners, edges, I mean, if those aren't 10s, I don't know what is. Uh, uh, centering, that should be a 10 as well. Uh, it's pretty, I don't think these cards can really be made off center since they're kind of made in glass like this. So if, though, if, we, if we get 10s on all three of those, surface, again, surface should be a 10 as well. There, it's a perfectly clear card. There's no, there's no scratches, there's no marks, there's no nothing. So I think this has a shot at a black label. Absolutely worst case scenario, if it gets a 9.5 on surface, if they want to ding it for something, I don't know what, um, then it should be at least a BGS 10 pristine. Um, or at the very, very worst, you know, if it gets two 10s and two 9.5s, it would be a true gem mint plus. So we'll see um, how that one turns out. But first time using BGS in over 20 years, so we'll, we'll see how that goes and how long it takes. So for BGS, it's the turnaround, I think they said between 90 and 120 days. Um, and I think that's business days. So that's like, you know, what, four or five months, something like that. So it'll be a while before these cards get back. But BGS is $35 per card with subgrades. I think for the autograph cards, it's an extra $2 per card. Um, so, you know, close to 40 bucks for some of those. And PSA recently opened their value submissions um, either through groups, group submitters or through um, if you have a collector's club membership or whatever they, they call it there, uh, $30, $30 per card. 120 days, again, 120 business days. Um, their plan is that they're not going to start grading any of these cards until the backlog is fully complete. But they're saying these will come back within 120 business days. So that essentially they're saying within 120 business days, the backlog should be complete. And this first batch of new $30 submission should also be complete. <laughs> so within five months, well, it should be a much different world uh, in the grading space. We might see even some lower prices um, after that. But here we go with our, I'll just kind of take this filler off and we'll look at these one by one. So the first four cards, I'm only sending in eight cards, got Giannis and Pace rookies. So I was been holding these for a while, wanted to grade them. Didn't make sense at 50 bucks just because I don't think these will probably get tens. I'm hoping for nines on each of these. They all, I pulled all of these uh, myself when we were doing, uh, if you want to check back on the channel, we did a a Giannis rookie chase. We opened a whole bunch of 2013-14 uh, Panini hobby boxes back before prices were insane. Um, so ended up pulling all four of these myself. Each of them have very minor issues. So my goal is to get nines on all these. Hopefully, the centering on this one is awesome. I love the eye appeal on this card, and I know PSA is really big on eye appeal. Um, so maybe this will get a ten. And I know it's hard to see on the video. I you might it might be impossible to see actually. I think. One of these corners, it might be that one. It might be the bottom left. I can't remember. It's it's almost impossible to see. One of the corners was slightly dinged a little bit, just very minimally. Um, so that might bring it down to a nine. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a 10 on this. Who knows? Um, so we've got that Giannis. And then all three of these have very dark edges and borders. So a lot of these have issues with kind of white around this. So you can see a little bit of white down there. Um, top looks pretty good. The back, again, kind of a little bit of white in certain areas, a tiny bit of white up there. Um, but overall, pretty good, so probably a nine on this one. Uh, next two, again, same thing. This pinnacle is, is especially dark all over. It's got just completely black edges and borders. And again, for the most part, looks pretty good. A little bit of white down there. Um, but overall, not in bad shape. If the grader's feeling generous, maybe a 10, but probably a nine. And same thing here. This one actually looks really good on the front dark uh, on the left and right and the top corners and edges. No issues there, but on the back, I think there was a little bit, eh, it's really hard to see. This one looks pretty good. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a 10 on this one too. But for the Giannis rookies, I'm expecting nines on all these. Uh, so a 10 would be a bonus. Um, and then the last remaining cards, I've been holding this one for a while. I really like this card, came out of a Hoops Mega Box. 
uh, from uh, 2021. So it's a second year card of Zion and Ja, not a rookie card, um, but I think it could, could be a pretty cool looking card to have slabbed, um, especially if Zion comes back and plays well. If, they, if both of these guys have really big years next year, this could be a pretty cool card, uh, the jersey swap. And I'm sure there's not a lot of these uh, graded. And so these last four definitely open for tens um, on all these, although now I see a tiny little bit of <laughs> white there. So I'm not sure how they're going to judge that edge. They might ding me on that one, but definitely open for tens on that one, hoping for a 10 on this one. So that red, white, and blue, that got a 10. I thought this is just a base, but I thought this one looked even better. Centering looked perfect to me, 50-50 um, all the way around, no surface dents or dings, edges were great. Um, back centering looks good, no corner issues. So really hoping for a 10 on that LeBron. Um, Luca Silver, again, same thing. Um, 50-50 centering all the way around. I, re I remember pulling this one and thinking this would be a great grading candidate. Just was waiting for prices to go down a little bit more, which 30 bucks I think is low enough for this. This should be probably over 100 bucks if it comes back as a 10. And then last one, we recently just pulled this Josh Giddy. Um, I thought it would be a while before I'd be able to grade this one, but the the ones I've already seen graded, um, not a lot of teals have been graded. Um, I've seen some orange lasers and some other colors, PSA 10s, all going for like over 100, 150 bucks, somewhere in that range. And I think teal looks, it's probably one of the better looking color parallels. And there's not really any out there yet, because again, I don't think anyone was spending $50 to grade this card. So more people might spend 30 to grade it. So there might be more. But again, if it comes back at 10, that's still a win um, in my book for that one. So that's going to do it. So there's eight cards to. PSA, four cards to BGS, gonna send them in both right around the same time. We'll see which one comes back first. Like I said, between 90 and 120 days for BGS and 120 days for PSA. So we'll go back and uh, reference this video when we get these back. Let's see how uh, fast they got them back and we'll see how close I was to guessing uh, all the grades on all these cards. So that's gonna do it for this video. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you all on the next video.